Hey YouTubers, this is Nike Tenno here coming at you with another quick video. In this one, I'm just going to be reviewing the new 3.0 firmware that Apple just released recently, showing you guys all the new features and, you know, if you guys should pay 10 bucks an upgrade, you know, alright? So let me just um, show you guys that I am, in fact, running the 3.0. General. About. And I'll just go all the way down there. And as you can see, my version is 3.0. There you go, version 3.0. So uh, okay, let's let's get started with this. Um, first of all, what you see is the um, at the bottom right here. The most obvious thing is the search um, little thing beside the dots. So you just swipe, and it'll take you to a search menu. You can search. Let's say search for anything you want to search let, let's search for um, let's say Facebook there you go face and it gives you all the um, choices you have it gives all the emails that Facebook has sent me obviously there's a lot of them and um, you can search for anything you can search through your library your music library you can search through um, your apps you can search through anything and simply just swipe back to go back into the normal screen I think that's a really good feature Apple added next we have the um, Another good feature, which is the copy and paste. A lot of people wanted that. So I've been testing this out already, so let me just show you guys. Here I, I've written here, hello, hello. So I'm just going to touch and let go. And I'm going to press, it gives you an option to select all. And then here, as you can see, it gives you an option to copy it. So we're going to press copy. Then we're going to go out, you know, just go out after that. Press a space and then hold again. Let go and then press paste. As you can see, hello, hello has been pasted yet again. And uh, if you want to manually select it, you can just touch and you can touch and say select. And then you can just pull it out just like that. And then you can cut it. And then you can hold again. And you can paste it again. You see, I think that's a really good feature, especially if you're wanting to copy something and put it into an email or something like that. It should really help. Third thing, which we can demonstrate here, is the landscape feature. You just tilt your iPhone, and it'll put you into the landscape. It's just about anything, you know, even in maps, even in uh, not in maps, sorry, even in um, email stuff like that. So people with larger fingers, people who just want to get more more accuracy typing, this is this is the app for you. This is the update for you. You know, much wider buttons uh, as opposed to this right here. Next thing is the voice memos. It's just an application that um, Apple's added to your home screen. Here is what it looks like, voice memos. So you just tap it, and then you press here to record. Did I press it? There we go. Press here to record, and we're just testing it out right here. Testing, testing, testing. You just stop it like that, and then you um, just save it, basically. And then you can... Hope you guys just heard that. That was the voice voice memo. You can save it. You can delete it. You can share it. You can upload it. You know, email it to somebody. It's really a nice feature. If you're at the grocery store, you gotta remember to do something when you get home. Just uh, record it. Next, um, apparently, the camera has improved. I'm not exactly sure if um, this is true, but people say it's whiter. You know, people say it um, gets a better picture quality. I don't exactly know about that. It's definitely faster when I take a picture, and as in the iPhone 3GS, it displays the last picture you took right in the bottom screen right here. It seems to take pictures a lot faster than it did before. I'll tell you that much. So improved camera, you know, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna go with what people say and tell you guys just have an improved camera. Next, we have YouTube has improved also. Apple has allowed you to log in now to. Um, Access your account that'll enable you to um, comment on other people's videos and do whatever else you need to do. So let me just demonstrate this real quick. If this thing will load. All right, let's um, go to let's go to favorites. Okay, there we go. Favorites. Up here in the top left, it says sign in. You just click that. You can put your YouTube username and password and access your account. Just simple as that. Next thing which I found very, very, very cool is the shake feature. So here we go. 
say we're um, let me just put the volume down here. We're we're uh, playing a song real quick. Let's um, play a song right here. Turn it down. I don't want to listen to the song, so I'll just shake it. You saw that? The song just changed. Well, since there's no album art, you can't guys really see it. Let me shake it again. There you go. If you guys want to hear what it sounds like when it shakes, let me show you. Bring it up to the camera. Did you hear it? There you go. Just get a little boo-boo. Just like that. Changes the song, which I think is really cool. And just about the last thing here, you guys, a feature of the 3.0 firmware, is um, scrolling through a song. Normally when you scroll through a song, it just stops and it lets you scroll to wherever you want to be. But if you want to hear the song while you're scrolling, it's possible now. So here we're playing. I'll just go to a song that has it. Okay, there we go. So here we go. You see that? Yeah, you can scroll right through the song while listening to it. So I thought that was really cool. Alright, basically guys, that's just about it for... Um, this uh, view, this review, and this firmware. Um, let me just give you my insight on this. Um, guys, it's definitely a great update. I think it's one of the biggest Apple's ever done since the App Store edition. Um, it's really great. The search feature is really awesome. The updates, the um, improved camera functionality, um, stuff like that. I think it's really great. It's really worth the upgrade. And um, I think you guys should go for it. Um, you won't be disappointed. Got a lot of new features. You guys got any questions? Please um, leave them in the comment box. Um, please subscribe, you guys. Support me if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you decide whether to get the 3.0 firmware or not. Alright, guys. See you later.